that we've gone and done some examples with the binomial theorem, I think it would be great if you guys could actually try these questions. So find the coefficient of x to the power of 9y cubed and the expansion of x plus y to the power of 12, x plus 2y to the power of 12, 2x minus 3y to the power of 12. So right now might be a good time to pause the video and try these yourselves. But I'm just going to go ahead and do them with you right now. So this one, x plus y to the power of 12, it's pretty much the same as what we did in the last video. All we have to do here is, well, 12 is our n. And really, we want x to the power of 9, y to the power of 3. So k is pretty much our 9. So n is equal to 12 k is equal to 9, all we have to do, 12 choose 9, and that's our coefficient for uh, x plus y to the power of 12, and when we were looking for x to the power of 9, y to the power of 3. Now, b is a little bit more tricky, but not that bad. Uh, what we want to do here is, uh, again, n would be 12, and k would be 9. So our n minus k would be 3 because 12 minus 9 is 3. So what we have to do is we go along and do the same thing. 12 choose 9 and, and then you think that would be our coefficient but there's actually a little bit more work we have to do. Since uh, there's a 2 in front of this y, we actually have to take the 2 and we have to take it to the power of 3. So, the power of 3. That will be our answer. Just because, uh, just because the 2 is in front of that y and we're looking for a coefficient uh, that has y cubed in it. So, that's as simple as that. And c is really a lot more tricky than what we just did. But again, it's not that bad. What you want to do here is you want to have a couple of let statements. So, let a equals 2x and let b equal negative 3y. So this whole thing now can be represented, this whole uh, equation can now be simplified to a plus b to the power of 12. And this x9 to x9 y cubed x9 y cubed can also be simplified to a 9 b 3 then all we have to do is we have to look for this the coefficient of this in, co in the context of a plus b to the power of 12 so let's just do that so in our case right now n would be equal to 12 like always and we're looking for uh, we're looking for n choose k right so then our k would be equal to 9 just like before so nothing there has really changed so doing that we get 12 choose 9 but then we also have these uh, a and b's so using that equation where is that equation using this equation we also have to factor in those a's and b's so really uh, 12 choose 9 is really 12 choose 9 uh, a 9 b after this, we want to turn the a's and b's back to their original x's and y's. So what we have to do is we pretty much, we still have 12 choose 9, but we turn a, 9, and b3 back to their original 2x's and 3y's. And that's pretty simple. We just take the a and just pop in a 2x to the power of 9. Because we have let statement saying that a is equal to 2x, uh, we could just substitute 2x for a and we do the same for b so b would be minus 3y minus 3y to the power of 3 so what we can do now is we could just take out these uh, these 2 to the power of 9 and negative 3 to the power of 3 to get 12 choose 9 2 power of 9 and negative 3 to the power of 3 x9 y3 so this right here is our coefficient of x to the power of 9 and y cubed and really 
This substituting problem can also be used for B, but then I didn't use it for B because it's it's a better example with C because we have both of them uh, had to be substituted. But you can also use that substitution substitution procedure here with the two y. Other than that, uh, those are the examples that I want to go through with you. Hope you guys actually learned how to do it. It's pretty simple once you get into it. So please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Like us on. Uh, Facebook and follow us on Twitter and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.